long after him. There's so many that we can count. Uh, so, so many things that we can count. Uh, the way he's trying to re, 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 reposition the national. Mm. We'll, issue, we'll talk more about him later. Sports. I'm going to come back to you yeah. to talk about um, the outgoing. The legacy, it's yeah. difficult to now describe him as outgoing, it's, but it's, that is how life is. Gone. Outgoing. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's gone. Gone. The new he's not even. Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. He's, he's not even out. He's, he's not even outgoing. He's, he's, he's the former. He's gone. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's. I mean, how do you how do you describe that power is transient? But let me just read a message uh, from the Nigerian Football Federation. They have reacted very quickly um, to the appointment of a new sports minister, and the Nigerian Football Federation today congratulated the newly appointed minister of sports and chairman National Sports Commission, Dr. Tamunu Danagogo, uh, a lawyer who was sworn into office. Earlier today, by the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, our President Goodluck Jonathan, of course, replacing Alaji uh, Bolaji Abdullah, speaking to the new minister on telephone from, the, from Atlanta, NFF president uh, Aminu Migiri welcomed him to his new office and prayed for Nigeria's string of successes on and off the field to continue and even get better under the new sports minister. So that's the message coming through from the NFF, uh, mm -hmm. sending out uh, a congratulatory message. Uh, to the new uh, sports minister, uh, Dr. Tamuno uh, Danagogo, yeah. who was sworn in earlier today. Quick question. The, mm. Did Megari also call the, the former minister of sports? To thank him for to the support he for enjoyed. Support, yeah. no, because yeah, that is particularly no, crucial. No, he will be in Atlanta. He will be with the... He's no, supposed no, to be no, in Poland. Is it Poland or Atlanta? Yeah, in Poland. Poland. So Poland, he will go, he'll to, go Atlanta to Atlanta. So that one will, 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 will be direct. Face to face because yeah. I, I'm thinking that they, they enjoyed tremendous amount of support from Balaji Abdullah. And I think the man's legacy will live on long after him. The appointment of uh, high performance directors for the Athletic Federation of Nigeria, the, the attempt to reposition national sports. There's so much that this man did uh, in his, in his, in his, uh, during his tenure. And personally, I'm, I'm pained. And I'm thinking this is more of a political decision rather than anything that has yeah. to do with logic. Yeah, mm. I, I, let, 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 me, let me get your opinion on that. Let, let's talk about um, the former sports minister, uh, Balaji Abdullah. What, what would you remember? About Bolaji Abdullah only. There was so much. He, he brought so much uh, intellect, you know, just like uh, Tunde, Tunde said, very approachable. You know, you could read through his ideas. He, 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 he sent, um, he passed the, the message across. And for, for a long time, sports was beginning to get uh, some kind of revival. Some of uh, the tournaments that um, we didn't participate in the past. In other sports? In other sports. They, they, we started participating. Yeah, shooting. You know, shooting to the, to the vo games. Volleyball. You, you, you might argue that they didn't do it, but a journey of a thousand men starts. Uh, but the, the, the point is that, to him, we have always advocated that, um, the, that we should build institutions. You know, we mm. should build institutions. We shouldn't build personalities. Yes. And that is why, once in a while, people like um, Bolaji will come up and... Um, we grumble that uh, they have, uh, you know, they, they, they have come and gone. Uh, but if we had a legacy, if we had a structure, if we had a policy, anybody who comes in, we fit in. Mm. Seamlessly. The, seamlessly. In structure. In, in China, they have a policy. Whether, you, whether, whether it has defect or not, Lina uh, has won um, a two Grand Slam titles from yeah. that policy. Uh, apart from that, China is a force in Olympic sports. Absolutely. Australia a big force well. in Olympic sports. England as well. South uh, Africa, and th that US. policy is that they go the, around the country and get talents, and the, the, the government will fund them. When they start winning, they pay royalties to the government. Whether you like it or it has worked for them. What policy do we have? Mm. Bolaji has gone now, has left office. We now have this man. Perhaps he might want to bring new ideas, new ideas, um, new plans, we have new some strategies. Uh, 99, new 98 days for the World Cup, the Commonwealth Games, um, uh, about uh, some uh, four a few months, a few yeah. months time. August, so, I think. Uh, in July, to start in July. So, uh, is this man going to start? Is he going to continue with what Bolaji, you know, has done? Those, those are the questions. Mm. But in all this, it is sports that suffers. Mm. You know, somebody has even advocated that should be a sports agency. And that's where, so where someone stays for like at least four I years. Mean, that is what the the National Sports Commission, Commission is, meant is meant to achieve. Uh, anyway, let, we, are, we are running out of time, really. But th th there's something important that Doyin has talked about about a structure. And I remember the last time uh, that this, this first minister was on sports tonight. We had a long interview with him. Fantastic interview. I mean, we, we, we asked the question what do you want to be remembered for? And he says he wants to be remembered as a minister who put a structure in place. But gentlemen, let's take a look at what we have on the screen. Um, what we have put together is that we've looked at Nigeria's sports ministers in the last 15 years. And um, I mean, the summary, we're going to run through those names now and try to highlight what we know about some of these uh, sports ministers. I mean, the last count, Tamuno Danagogo is going to be Nigeria's 13th sports minister in the last 15 years. 
So it's more of an average of one an per year. Of one per year. Bola Jadulaya has stayed close to two years. It mm. came in uh, on the eve of the Olympics, 2012. Now it's gone close to the World Cup. So two years as a sports minister. But Oye, you will remember very vividly. From 1999 to 2014, we've had 17. Starting from Damishi Sango, the man from uh, Plateau, Ishaya Makaku, from Plateau State, too. Plateau State, had a lot of brilliant ideas. Unfortunately, was cut short <laughs> by a crash, <laughs> plane crash. He died in a plane crash. In 2002. In 2002. Said it was also sabotaged internally. I don't know, but that a plane crash is a plane crash, whether it's sabotaged no, 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 or not. No, no, his brilliant ideas were sabotaged internally. Yeah, but he didn't have enough time yeah. to really see those brilliant ideas mm. through. We had um, Stephen Ibn Akiga from as well, State. who came in, filled in for, for Makaku. Uh, he's also late now. He is. Yeah. All right. He didn't stay enough, uh, enough to also see his dreams come true. Musa Abdullah had a running battle with Brian Galadima. Um, and along the line, he was consumed by all of the happenings, and he had to go. Sumaila Sambawa as well. Sumaila Seydou Sambawa from Gumbi, I think, yeah. also came in, filled in. Um, and then there was a change, and then he had to go. Balak Aoje also came in. Engineer Balak Aoje came with a lot of ideas, wanted change for Nigerian sports, particularly autonomy for the NFF. He didn't stay long enough to see that through. He had to go. Abdurrahman Gimba, uh, we remember him so well. During the 517 World Cup, Nigeria is withdrawing. Nigeria is not withdrawing. He got consumed. He had to go. Not enough time to stay. Isa Bio Ibrahim, the radicalist, mm. came in, had a running battle everyone. with uh, uh, everyone. Everyone. Sani Lulu. The effects of that battle is still raging. Mm. He also had his own brilliant ideas as well, but he didn't stay long enough. He wanted he to be governor, the governor of Para State. He yeah, had to leave, and then, um, I mean, he, he took a walk. Sani Danusa, President Tennis Federation, a sportsman. We felt for the first time that we are going to be having a square peg in square hole, or is a round peg in round hole. He didn't stay long enough, in my own opinion. He just stayed one year. But a lot of people felt that he disappointed. But for me, I think he didn't have enough time. Uh, one year, and he was gone. And then Tawhid Adedoja, a professor of sports administration. High hopes. High hopes. I don't know how to describe what happened. <coughs> Moving on. We mm. just move on. Yeah, move on. Okay. And then you had Suleiman Mohammed. Mm. This is an amazing story of Suleiman Mohammed. He came in. He resigned. He, he, he brought in a lot of ideas, set up a committee to look at a lot of aspects of sports. And the day the committees were submitting the report was the day he was resigning <laughs> to be governor of Sukutu State. <laughs> and, 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 and then and the the no, immediately. <laughs> He was resigned. Even the committee members were telling me that immediately they were getting to his office to submit the report of their committee, and they discovered that he was also dropping his resignation letter. They knew that was the end of their reports. Yeah. And that was the end of the report indeed. And then Bola Jadulai came in. A lot of ideas, a plan for the Olympics to 2016. All of that in the works mm. now is gone. Yeah, I think uh, Onyeni raised a particularly interesting issue. Mm. Uh, he said something about the timing. It is, the timing for me is very, very poor and exceedingly reckless. We have a World Cup to prosecute in 98 mm, days. But have, does, it, does it really have a role to play in the World uh, Cup? Uh, I mean, Maybe more at the Commonwealth Games the, than the World yeah, Cup. The, 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 wait, Maybe on, more at the Commonwealth Games. On, there's, there's the Commonwealth Games as well. And he's also particularly involved in the process towards 2016. the 2016 yeah. Um, yeah. Olympics. But, so but as you said... It still goes back to what we said about how do you have a chairman of the National Sports Commission you know, who is there for a specific tenure and who is removed at the whims and caprices of the executive. No, chairman of the National Sports Commission is a political appointment. You cannot... We have to change that. You can't change you, you, We yeah, have to change Maybe we have to work around we it. We have to but, change but it. But more importantly, it is, more importantly it is the DG of the National Sports Commission that showed us the responsibility of driving that process so that whoever comes even if you stay for a day, the process is still in place, as you said. But a structure is in place to achieve results. But, 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 but the way it's structured, mm. the DG has little or nothing to do. You know. Because it is the head that drives the oh. So when the chairman comes and he believes yeah, yeah, yeah. where we should go. Just yesterday, the DG went to represent um, the, the minister. Uh, and he had a running battle and with the, the, the senators. senators and, told him that oh, oh, oh. Uh, we recognize you until your minister comes. You know, finish. So and it's, it's, it's the new minister that will appear. It still boils down to what we, had, what we said about mm. having a proper structure. Until we have a national sports commission headed by someone who has a specific tenure, who has specific anyway. duties and roles during that tenure, mm. then nothing will change. In a, in a minute, what's the, what's, the, what's the charge for Dr. Tamuno Danagogo? For me, the first thing I'll tell him, look at the template of what Bola Jabla is doing, particularly as it affects planning for the Olympic Games that will be taking place in two years' time. Pick out some of the very positive that you think you can work with and do little to change everything entirely. Because if you change, chop and change, chop and change, two years of the Olympics, we'll come back again. The retreat that we had, 
that the minister was driving private sector participation and all of that. I'm talking about Abdullah. That, 